Module 1, Session 2. Module 1, Session 2 will cover the following content. Learning Outcome 1.1.1, Performing Addition, Subtraction, Multiplication and Division on Complex Numbers in Standard Form. Learning Outcome 1.1.1, Performing Addition, Subtraction, Multiplication and Division on Complex Numbers in Standard Form. Let's pause the video to do an activity. Discuss how you teach the basic operations in standard form to level 4 students. Some suggestions for discussion areas are any problem areas, important things to draw your students' attention to, and tips and tricks. Let's now revise addition and subtraction in standard form. Remember that the standard form of complex numbers is represented as Z is equal to A plus BI. Your students should remember the procedures for addition and subtraction from level 3. Step 1. Add or subtract the real parts. Step 2. Add or subtract the imaginary parts. Remember that the ordinary rules of algebra apply to imaginary numbers. For example, i plus 4i is equal to 5i and 7i minus 3i is equal to 4i. Let's now take a look at a video example of this. Let's consider the following example. Simplify one complex number 2 minus 69 plus another complex number 14 minus 8i minus another complex number 14 minus 12i. We have a combination of addition and subtraction of complex numbers. How will we solve that? Straightforward. 2 minus 16i plus 14 minus 8i. But here comes the trick. A minus 14 and then a minus times a minus gives you a plus 12i. A minus always changes signs. That's why I always tell my students, a minus will minus you if you not be minusly inclined in the exam. And then the rest, you just add or subtract all your real parts. 2 plus 14 is 16. Minus 14 that gives you 2. And then your imaginary parts, a minus 16 and a minus 8, that gives you minus 24. And then a plus 12 gives you minus 12i. And that is your answer. Moving on to multiplication in standard form. So where do we begin? Step 1. We multiply out our complex numbers using the algebraic techniques we learnt in previous levels. The distributive law FOIL and the perfect squares formula. Step 2. Remember that the ordinary rules of algebra apply to imaginary numbers. For example, 5 times i equals 5i, i times 2i is equal to 2i squared. Students sometimes need to be reminded that equations always work in both directions. You may find it necessary to revise some of this algebra with students before proceeding with the topic. It's always best to start your students off as simple as possible and then build their knowledge as you build their confidence. For the purposes of this lecture support package, we will move straight on to a more difficult example using multiplication. Simplify one complex number multiplied with another complex number multiplied with another complex numbers. In other words, we have the product of three complex numbers. Now please, please, you cannot do this all at once, no. You can only multiply two complex numbers at a time. Which means you can either take number one with number two, 
first, thereafter multiply it with number three, or you can multiply number two and number three, and then multiply it with number one. What I will suggest, I will do number two and number three first, and that's why immediately I'm gonna put in a square bracket there, meaning that will be my focus, which means you're gonna have one minus i, and then square bracket. I'm gonna multiply that too. There are a lot of ways in multiplying that, but I prefer the distributive law. What does the distributive law mean? It's exactly the same as the FOIL method. You take your real part there and you multiply it with complex number. And then you take your imaginary part of that complex number and you multiply it with that complex number. In other words, if you factorize that, then you will get exactly the same by means of grouping. This is equal to 1 minus i. And now, can you see, you can clearly see the product of a monomial and a binomial. Product of monomial and a binomial. 2 times 4 is 8 minus 6i plus 4i minus 3i squared. And you close the bracket. Next step, you're going to simplify your i parts and immediately substitute i squared with its value, which is negative 1. 1 minus i, down bracket, 8 minus 6i and a plus 4i gives you a minus 2i. And then minus 3, very important, the value of i squared is negative 1. Please do this additional step. Remember the negative rule. It will negative you. So don't allow the negative to negative you. And then you're going to multiply it out now. 8 minus 2i. Can you people see there? A minus and a minus will now become a plus 3. Close the square bracket. And then you will have 1 minus i, round bracket, square bracket, 8 plus 3, 11 minus 2i. We have now find the product of complex number 2 and complex number 3. Now we need to apply exactly the same rule to find the complex number of number 1 and the product of those two. 1 11 minus 2i, exactly the same as before, minus i, 11 minus 2i. This is equal to 1 times 11, it's 11. 1 times minus 2i gives you minus 2i, minus 11i, and then plus negative times negative, 2i squared. Same procedure, 11, 11i 11 there. I think you can see, because it's 11i. Minus 2i minus 11i gives you minus 13i plus 2. What is the value of i squared? Minus 1. That is equal to 11 minus 13i. A minus times a plus gives me a minus. Then finally, simplify your real parts. 11 minus 2, that is equal to 9 minus 13i. Let's now move on to division in standard form. To divide complex numbers in standard form, we follow these steps. Step 1. We multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. Step 2. Simplify our answer. Remember that the conjugate of a complex number, which we write as z with a bar over it, differs only in the sign of the imaginary part from the original complex number. Here are some examples of conjugates. 
4 plus 5i becomes 4 minus 5i. Minus 2 minus 2i becomes negative 2 plus 2i. The square root of 2 plus i becomes the square root of 2 minus i. 4i minus 7 becomes negative 4i minus 7. Remember, when you multiply a complex number by its conjugate, the answer is always a real number. Let's look at an example. 15 minus 3i multiplied by its conjugate, which is 15 plus 3i, gives us 225 plus 45i minus 45i minus 9i squared. This is using FOIL, and we've cancelled the positive 45i and the negative 45i. Now we add the like terms and substitute negative 1 for i squared. This gives us 234 because a negative times a negative is a positive. And notice that it is a real number. Let's now take a look at a video example of division in standard form. Let's look at this division problem. One complex number divided by another complex number. In order for us to solve this, we need to multiply with the conjugate of the denominator. The denominator refers to the bottom term. And conjugate means chains I sign. So this expression will become 1 minus 2I over 2 minus I need to be multiplied with 2 plus i over 2 plus i. The reason why we multiply it with a conjugate is because we want to get rid of the i part as part of the denominator. Then our numerator will be straight away 1, 2 plus i minus 2i, 2 plus i. We have applied there the distributive law. Let me just note it here. Distributive law in mathematics. But you can also use the FOIL method. Nothing prevents you from doing that. Let's first simplify the complete numerator. That will give you 2 plus i minus 4i minus 2i squared. It will further give me 2, 1i minus 4i gives you minus 3i minus 2. Substitute i squared with negative 1. Continue 2 minus 3i plus 2 over and finally you will get here 4 minus 3i over. Now let's look at the bottom part here. For the bottom part we're going to use the following tool because the bottom part is a complex number multiplied with its conjugate and we're going to use this tool. This is the complex number. This is its conjugate. And you will get real or a squared plus imaginary squared. In other words, our real part there was 2 squared plus imaginary part was minus 1 or 1 squared. That will give you 4 plus 1, and it will give you 5. 5, 5. Is that the final answer? No, because you need to get a real part separated from an imaginary part. In other words, we're going to apply this tool now. A plus BI over C. If you separated it, it's going to become A over C plus B over C I. Therefore, your final answer here will be 4 over 5 
minus 3 over 5i. You can leave the answer as is, or you can use your calculator and write down the decimal equivalence. As we mentioned earlier, some lecturers like to move on to complex equations after this learning outcome. This is a perfectly acceptable approach. For the purposes of this training, we'll follow the order of the subject guidelines for Topic 1.